Hello and welcome. Today we are doing another question from Leak Code called Valid Parentheses. It's easy. Let's get started. Given a string S containing just the characters open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open brace, close brace, and open and close bracket, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if one, open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets, two, open brackets must be closed in the correct order, and three, every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. So here one and three are essentially the same. Every open bracket must be closed by the same type of bracket and the closed bracket has to have a corresponding open bracket. So example one here, we are given an input S equaling open and closed parentheses. We output true because we are able to form a pair here. They're closed in the correct order and the open and closed parentheses are corresponding. Example two, here we output true as well. Again, the same thing holds true. These are corresponding, these are corresponding, and as are the last pair. Example three, here we output false because while we have an open parenthesis, we don't have the corresponding matching closed one, and therefore we can't return true. We have some constraints over here. Essentially, S only consists of the following parentheses. Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, we're given the rules right in the problem itself. The only thing left to do is translate it into code. So before we do that, let's take a look at another example. So I have the following example right here. Say this is S my input string. Right away, we can see that this is actually not a valid set of parentheses. These don't match. And the reason we know this is because the first close parenthesis that we come across doesn't correspond to the last open one that we have. They don't match and therefore the entire output would be false. Now, why do we even need the first close to match with the last open? Because these are parentheses. We always solve them in layers, operating on them inside to out, right? So say even with any mathematical expression that we have, if I have the following expression, two plus uh, five and one plus one. How do I solve this? If you're following order of operations, you always solve for the parentheses first going left to right. So here I come across my first set of parentheses and now I want to solve whatever's inside it. So I have four plus and now I come across another set of parentheses. So I now want to solve for whatever is inside here before I work my way outside. Two plus five, and there should have been another operation here. Let's do times. Um, five times, and I see another open, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I want to solve for whatever is inside these parentheses. There is nothing else. Now I can actually evaluate this, so this comes out to two. And there's no need to have this parenthesis anymore. We've evaluated everything inside. We can get rid of it. So I'm left with five times two, which is 10 plus two is 12. Again, I can just get rid of these brackets now. There is nothing left to evaluate. And I'm left with four plus 12. Now, see, I started at the innermost parenthesis and I worked my way out. I'm at the last one now. And I know this is equivalent to 16. So how is this relevant to our problem? Well, we want to apply the same logic of working from the inside out. That is why we want the first close parenthesis that we see to match with our most recent open and keep going that way. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is actually maintain a stack since I always want to know what my last um, open parentheses are. So I'm going to have a stack and as I iterate through my input S, so for character in S. If my character is an open parenthesis, I'm going to append it to my stack. So if for character in S, if that character is open, and this is just pseudocode right now, we'll clean it up later. I want to append it to my stack and character. 
Why am I doing this? This allows me to have an order of every single open parenthesis that we come across with the most recent ones always being at the very end. If my parenthesis is not open, the character I am on is not an open parenthesis, so else, it is a closed parenthesis, what I'm going to do is pop off of my stack. So stack.pop, this now holds the most recent value on the stack while simultaneously removing it from the stack. So if this value does not correspond to the current close bracket that I am on, so if this correspond, again, this is just pseudocode, if this does not correspond to my current character, which is a close parenthesis, I will return false. Now in edge case, just to keep in mind here, we are using stack.pop. So another condition we want to check is that there actually exists something in the stack, otherwise we will get an error. So if stack is empty or the values don't correspond, we return false. This is because if stack was empty, then the close has nothing to match because there's no open parenthesis, otherwise we would have already appended it to our stack. Once we are done with this entire for loop, what do we return? Well, similar to how we solved in that mathematical expression, in the end, we had no parentheses left. They were all paired up and removed, right? So if my stack is empty, I will return true. If there's still values in it, that means not everything has been paired up and I return false. So return true if stack is empty, else false. Now let's go ahead and actually code this up. The first thing I am going to do is maintain a dictionary so I know what the corresponding close and open values are. So I'm going to store the open parenthesis with the closed one, the open brace to the closed, and finally the open bracket to the closed. And let's comment this out for now. So I have my empty stack initialized. As I loop through every character in my input S, if my character is open. Now we know every single open parenthesis is a key in my dictionary. All I need to do actually is make a check if my character is inside my dictionary. So if character in D, what this does is if it checks the character is a key in my dictionary, and these are all open um, parentheses, so this is basically checking if my character is an open parenthesis, in which case I will append that character to my stack, else if the stack is empty, or what is the corresponding um, close to my open. So stack.pop, we get some sort of open value. I want to check what the corresponding um, close parenthesis for that is. So I just need to find out the value of that key in my dictionary. So dictionary of that stack.pop value should not equal my character, in which case I return false. So let's go ahead and run this code. Accepted and let's go ahead and submit it. And it is accepted as well. So talking about space and time complexity, for space, we could potentially be storing every single character in S in our stack, so that is O of N. And for time, we're going through every single character in S, so that is also O of N. Now let's go ahead and do a quick run through using this same example to see what our code is doing line by line. So say my input was the following string S, I'm going to go and evaluate this. So I still have my dictionary defined here and I have stack, which is empty. I am currently now in my for loop. So for character in S, I start at the first index right here. This is my character. If my character is in D, so this is in D right here. So I will append it to my stack. I will append this to my stack. I am out of this if block and I am back into this for loop. So character is now pointing to this open brace right here. So again, I am in this if condition, the character is in my dictionary 
and therefore I append it to my stack. Moving down again, I am at this open parenthesis, again, going back into this if right here, I append it to my stack. Back in this for loop, I move character down. Now I come across this open, right? So I'm in this for loop. The character is not in D. It's not any of these values here. So now I am in this else block right here. The stack is not empty. So we can go ahead and pop whatever was on stack. So I'm going to be removing this and I'm going to be checking what the close value is for that. So I'm checking D for this. Now this is right here in D and the corresponding value for this is the closed parenthesis right here. This is actually not equal to my current C value, which was a brace. These two are not equal. And so I return false. And this is how you solve valid parentheses. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.